I think this is about the third time Pluto's went over this 29th degree. And I've spoken in previous videos about the significance of the 29th degree. But I want to give you this perspective. You're alive, y'all. You are living through a very interesting part of human evolution. It feel like some in the city or the way to the coast. Yeah. Girls looking pretty, kids ain't playing how they supposed to. Nope. Things done change, that's where the big smalls. Facts. Technology on the up, morality on the fall. Man. I remember days for the haze and Xanax hit. The world was filled with wonder and we all had wit. Many stuck in their ways, such a sad old flick. Many stuck in the days and they mind stay fixed. I, I reminisce see. on the time I was proud of my country. When. Family used to matter, exploring like Dundee. Dodging all the crocs to the top, we steady soaring wow. Now every time I turn on the box, it's very boring Ain't no love in hip-hop, right. the game been flip-flop uh -huh. When it come to skill, few build the tip-top Shape the beat great, niggas is frail weight uh -huh. The game got bigger, but we fail all the great What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here Back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge Today, we'll be talking about Pluto going direct As well as this upcoming full moon in Aries So, let's get into it Before we get into it, I want to let you guys know that as an astrologer, I do plenty of readings, but I actually haven't done a synastry reading in so long. So with that said, I'm putting synastry readings on sale. So if you're interested, go over to my website, check it out and tap in with me. This is me as someone who loves their craft, making sure my awareness is staying up to tack and all of that. So Whoever's interested, I look forward to connecting with you. Getting into it, we recently had Pluto go direct, Jupiter go retrograde, and this is subtle but big, particularly within the scheme of things. We came off the, that eclipse, and we're heading for this full moon. This is it, y'all. Pluto at the 29th degree of Capricorn for the final time, and anybody who's you know, coach with me and all of that. I, I talk about journaling a lot, particularly when it uh, comes on to these transits. Part of the reason I'm able to connect and understand astrology at, at this level is because after I, I learned the basics and I started to practice, there was a time where I had to pay close attention towards, okay, Uranus is at 12 degrees Aries and, you know, it's, it's it's making this square to Pluto. What's really going on in this moment? And when you go back, it's a magical thing. It's actually like a spiritual thing. Leaving that thought from then on the page to then from this moment, go back and retrieve it and see the influence. Very powerful stuff. So I think this is about the third time Pluto's went over this 29th degree. And I've spoken in previous videos about the significance of the 29th degree. But I want to give you this perspective. You're alive, y'all. You are living through a very interesting part of human evolution. And all of us believe in reincarnation. So I want to remind you, there was a time, all of us, in previous lives where we said, if only I had this or could be like this, or imagine if we had this, right? Imagine if we had phones and we could connect with someone on the other side, then see them, so on and so forth. So the reminder is, is that Capricorn is a sign of the establishment, corporations, companies, and within that, there's a reliability, which breeds from consistency. So I encourage you to reflect on the grace of that. Of course, when you bring in the other transits, we, we've seen so much transpire. But just from a, a standpoint of, of order, we've lived through a time that's really enable the individual to accept themselves, to build 
themselves. And because of this beautiful thing, the ether internet project oneself and how whatever manner it be serious, funny, intellectual. So while it's at this 29th degree until November 19th, which is going to take us into election season and all that here in the States, go back and claim any unrealized dreams. Ask yourself, where do I need more structure? Where do I need to be more present, consistent, think bigger? Use this time to create a formation. I'm always talking about formation within spirituality because it's formation is what ultimately helps your vibration raise. It's what helps you uh, do build the habits that create the better you, right? So the formation comes through time, but it starts with alignment. You align a certain way and then you form it out. The 29th degree right now offers that to formulate your future Aquarius hopes, dreams, wishes, all of that. But like I said, allow yourself the time to reflect and reconnect with the parts of you that have developed and, and, and grown. Okay. We got this full moon in Aries coming up. I'm going to pull up the chart and we'll get to it. All right, people. So we got this full moon here in the sign of Aries, highlighting the Aries Libra access, which is about self and others. And I really feel like with this moon connected to Chiron, as well as the part of fortune here, it's, it's so revealing. There's a lot of ways to read this, but there's a T-square going on here with the ruler of the full moon, Mars. Mars here in Cancer, a sign where it's not comfortable. So in one sense, I can see many reaching a boiling point. But, but this is good. This can be good. To some extent, you want to reach your boiling point, but not break. You want to keep your composure. One of the rules of thumb for this Mars and Cancer transit is like, pay attention to what you're giving energy to. But you also want to become more aware of what really emotionally engages you, for better or worse. So I feel like that's going to happen. But, but, and Aries is about like fighting for your rights. And this opposition here with Libra is just screaming to me like, I'm not taking your shit. So in this current climate of, of people, I feel like we are an aware type of bunch. We're very self-aware. So remember, Libra deals with like right relations, kind of like treat others how you want to be treated type of thing. So if there's a way in which you yourself is projecting how you want to be treated and that's not being honored, you're going to have to honor yourself and let that be known. But it isn't necessarily about like blowing up, making an argument, but it's about your actions. So Mars square Moon here says, when the conflict arises, what action will you take? Are you going to preserve your peace? Are you going to come off your square? Or are you just going to con continue to put up with the bullshit? So what I see here, you know, we got Venus here at the 29th degree. There's This is given the opportunity to put certain things to rest. Like I see compromise here. But the, the energy is so intense, I feel like it's, it's not going to be like in a quote-unquote peaceful way. It's going to be like in a sophisticated way. All right? So take that how you may. But whatever relationships that need to, we could call it be balanced or put in a proper perspective, you, the individual, are going to have to take some type of action to push that thing forward and based on it being a full moon this can be something you're uncomfortable doing or or that is aggressive in nature th things like that 
but it's kind of supported right now. All right. And remember, there's that is how you heal. You heal by attacking the wound. So in this sense, we, we got to attack it with confidence. We got to attack it with like impulse, <laughs> but most importantly, like action. OK, so leading up to this full moon, you know, we'll have sun come into contact uh, with Jupiter. And remember, this is uh, a very auspicious and prosperous time. So it is a time to communicate the things that you need to communicate, be around the people you want to be around, do something for them to express your gratitude, things like that. There's an open uh, window for that. So with Venus here at the 29th degree, we're wrapping up our lessons in which we've been learning while she's been within Scorpio. And it all goes back to self. How have I gotten more in tune with myself during this cycle? And within getting more in tune with yourself, what did that teach you about others, right? So this is my interpretation of the full moon. I hope you guys enjoy. Release the beast. Embrace the new. Till next time, peace.